Hey guys, it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So first, can we just talk about how super casual I am? I mean, I'm rocking the Ron John shirt. I don't even know what that is. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling at home and I was feeling super just lazy. I did not feel like getting dressed today. You know what? That's a lie. I never feel like getting dressed because, ew, there's hair. Because I'm a mom of two and I work from home. So I'm gonna chill in whatever I want. Just get that out of the way. So, yeah, 99% of the time, I only get dressed when it comes to filming videos. Really lazy sounding, I know, but hey, you gotta get stuff done, right? Anyway, so let's just jump into it. So, I know I just did my December favorites, but I was literally just talking about products that I was loving for the month of December. I wanted to come on here and do my 2015 beauty favorites. I did ask in my December favorites if it's something you guys would be interested in seeing and a bunch of you gave it a thumbs up and said yes. So here I am doing it. So there are gonna be a couple products that I'm not gonna mention that were in my previous favorites. One, because I just mentioned them and two, because I wanted to do products I've been loving throughout 2015, not just in December. So. We're gonna start out, the order I'm gonna go in is just like the order I apply things. I'm gonna try and keep it to the minimum because I tend to, you know, ramble and like throw in, oh, but I like this too, and I like this too, and I like this too. I'm just gonna keep it to what I know I love. And I'm gonna be like, no, I don't wanna be without that. You feel me? Anyways, so we're gonna be starting out with eyeshadow because I do always start out with my eyeshadow. I mean, I do prep my eyes with a concealer, but I'm gonna be, do, be doing concealers later or concealer I don't know so starting with the eyeshadows <sighs> this palette slayed my life the morphe 350 I have used this so many times it's just it's not even funny how many times I've used it but I mean it's just I just <sighs> I just get so excited talking about this palette and it's so gorgeous and it's warm and and neutral and buttery and creamy and it's just like yeah like like, how ridic are those colors? And that's not even me, like, applying a ton of pressure. They're just ridiculous. You know, I ha I'm doing this, but I didn't bring any makeup wipes with me. So, using the ratty t-shirt, it's how I roll. Anyway, so I'm not going to go into super much depth about this palette, but you guys know how I feel about this. The Morphe 350, super affordable, $22, amazing quality. These are probably my favorite shadows. Right up there with Makeup Geek, but yeah, these are probably my favorite shadows. I love this so much. I want to go get the uh, 35K, I think that's what it is. But yes, I've been loving this palette. It's been my 2015 favorites, so I thought I'd mention this guy first. So my hands are incredibly shaky right now. I think I need to eat. I haven't even had breakfast yet, and it's like 2 o'clock, I think. Maybe it's a little earlier than that. But anyway, so my next shadows, ugh, my Makeup Geek ones. Especially this row right here. You guys know neutrals, warms, and my neutrals and warms, they're mine. They're all about me. So, yeah, I have been loving my Makeup Geek shadows. I've really been into single shadows. Like, 2015 was my year of single shadows besides the 3500 palette. I really started experimenting because I've, I've always been a palette junkie. Like, I have probably 20 eyeshadow palettes. If you guys want me to do a top eyeshadow palette, let me know in the comments. That's something I've always thought about doing. But anyways, single shadows have been my jam. Even my MAC palette, or the MAC palette that I did create. Actually, I have it right here. So I did create a MAC palette. I still need to put one more shadow in it. But this has been, you know, I've been all about this in 2015. But I do like Makeup Geek shadows just a, t just a hair better. So... Yeah, I thought I'd mention Makeup Geek instead of MAC, but I do love my MAC shadows, don't get me wrong. Anyways, um, a couple of shadows of my favorite are Chickadee, which is right here. You guys know I like the mustardy colors. And then Desert Sands, I really like Cocoa Bear. And then also, oh yeah, the uh, Foil Shadow and Jester. I did a video on that. I will link it down below if you're interested. So yes, I've been loving these. And just a couple of my eyeshadows, um, because I've been talking about single shadows, two neutral shades, or warmish neutral shades, I've been really in love with. I don't have a lot of these because they're really expensive, but Bobbi Brown probably has the best eyeshadows on the planet. Just, I don't talk about them a lot because they're so expensive. One eyeshadow is $24. So for the price of that palette, or so 
one eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown or a 350 palette from Morphe for cheaper. So yeah, I don't talk about these a lot be because they're so expensive, but I used these throughout 2015 a ton because I mean, Camel, you guys know, it's just, it, it, it says modesty all over. This is my color. And then of course, Toast has been a really good one. Color of skin, a little bit more warmth. Love this shadow. Okay, so after eyeshadow, I do go on to eyeliner. Um, I don't have it right now, but Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black is Black. I've become gel eyeliner obsessed, but I'm out of it, and I threw it away, not thinking that I should have saved it for this video. I thought I would have replaced it by now, but I haven't. So that one, but then also, you guys know, my absolute favorite liquid liner of all time is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. I did use it today, because once again, I said I'm out of my gel eyeliner. But yeah, so this has been everything this year and it's only a dollar so yeah and then another liquid eyeliner that I'm like oh ah, was the nano liner by absolute New York and oh my gosh I'm not really into the pen liners but this is just amazing like barely any pressure look at that it's just I love this eyeliner so much and um, I usually use this for the wing part to get a really sharp line and then I fill it in with this it is very hard to impress me with mascaras. Like, usually I'm just like, mascaras, mascara, whatever, whatever, whatever. But this year, I found a mascara that's totally changed that. This is the Voluminous, the Voluminous Butterfly Midnight Black Mascara by L'Oreal, I want to say. L'Oreal? Yeah, by L'Oreal. And seriously, guys, I long time ago, I did a... Um, First impressions review of this mascara, and I was like, not a fan, whatever. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not wowing me. But I don't know. I think it's because it was just, like, fresh. But then when it dried out a little bit, I don't know what it is, but I love this. Did I say eyeliner? Mascara. I love this mascara so much. Like, seriously, now I've found a mascara where I'm like, whoa, I love a mascara. I actually have a mascara favorite, and it has been the Voluminous Butterfly Midnight Black. So, my favorite primer is, of course, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I am completely out. I did save this for this video. I don't know why I didn't save my eyeliner, but yeah, I did know to save this. I haven't replaced this yet, but this is my favorite primer uh, for dewy skin and everything. Not really into matte primers. I do like the Benefit Professional, but it is very expensive. It's $31. <laughs> I'm a mama too. I can't buy that very often. So, yeah, I've really been into my drugstore primers, and this is you know been my favorite you guys know i used to use this in every single video until i ran out and i gotta go buy another one of this guy because i love it it has a pearlesque finish nice and dewy hydrating i love this then combs a foundation i'm really into drugstore foundations but i just these are a drugstore and i just i have to mention them i do love the l'oreal true match totally out of it don't have it but all right so two foundations that i've just been obsessed with this year nars all day luminous weightless foundation you guys if you guys have been watching me this year you guys know how I feel about this. I did a review video of it, and I used to use it all during the winter and the springtime. I'm way too pale to wear this right now, as you can see. So I haven't been using it, but um, when I am darker, yeah, when I am darker, I do wear this. I should probably get this in a lighter shade so I can also use it outside of the spring and the summertime. But this is my favorite spring and summer foundation. Oh, I love this foundation so much. Yeah, so the NARS All the Luminous Weightless Foundation. And then the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is for my matte days or the more cooler months when I'm paler. I'm using it today. And yeah, I love the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. This is in the shade NC15 because I'm super, super duper pale. But I love this foundation. It just, it's super weightless. Like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, but it's matte, but it's not drying. You know what I mean? Because a lot of matte products can really dry out your skin. I mean, you know, with a liquid lipstick, they can dry you out. But, um, yeah, this doesn't dry me out, and it gives me a matte finish. So, yeah, I've been loving this one. So, next comes concealer. Three concealers I've totally been in love with this year. Once again, I think I talked about last year, but the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use this to prime my eyes. I use it under the eyes. I love the... I love how light it is. I don't like heavy concealers because then they crease on you, and it just drives me nuts. And I love how easy it is to blend out thinner concealers, but this is full coverage at the same time. So, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and then two drugstore ones. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is, I hear this one is like an exact dupe of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've never tried that one personally, but, um, I mean, 
a lot of the majority of people I watch say that. So yeah, anyways, I love this. It blends out so easily and it's just it's super high coverage. I used it today under the eyes and to cover up any discoloration that I have. So yeah, the Maybelline Fit Me. And then the last one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Guys, I love this concealer so much. This is the one I use for highlighting because it's super pale. This is in the shade Porcelain. And so I use it to highlight, but this thing blends out like a dream and it's high coverage. I love this and it barely creases on me, especially when I set it and everything. So yeah, I've been loving this concealer all year also. Okay, this next product is like a two-in-one. Uh, it's my powder for setting, setting my under eyes and also it's my contour. <sighs> I love this. The Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. I really like my Lorac one. I love it still. But this, there's something about these shades. There's something about the texture that just makes everyone so obsessed with it. As you can see, I hit pan on this one. Very close to hitting pan on this one. I combine these two to highlight under my eye and to set my under eye concealer, and it prevents me from creasing. And then these are just the best contour shades ever because you can see there's no warmth to them. There's no orangey tone. They have very real shade tones, like a grayish undertone, which prevents it from looking muddy, and it gives you that you know shadow that you want. And these just blend out so beautifully. So sometimes I'll use it for bronzing, or at least for contouring. Mainly for contouring, um, I do have something that I prefer that I do prefer for actual bronzing, which I'll show you right now. So for my bronzer, that I, when I just really want to warm up the face, I don't want to contour, I don't want to do anything crazy, I use this. And as you can see, it has a sheen to it, and that's why I use it for bronzing. You do not want to use this for contouring because you want this to be matte. Um, but yeah, so what I'll do is if I just want a really healthy glow, bronzy glow to my skin, I'll just take a big powder brush, I'll swirl it in, and I will just pat it around the edges of my face, I guess, just to warm it up. And this is, oh, I'm sorry. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 151 because like I said, super pale, so I have to get the lightest shade. Anyway, so yeah, this is just my favorite bronzer and this is my favorite contour palette. Moving on to blush, gotta mention my Morphe 9B palette. This has been my go-to ever since I bought it because you get nine shades and they're very versatile. They blend out nicely. They are crazy pigmented. This shade right here, has been my favorite shade of all because it's very peachy and neutral. It's like the most wearable blush, I feel like. And if you want to wear it the summer, if you want to wear it in the summer, but you don't want just like a bright pink blush, I really like layering this one over top of this bronzer for a nice bronzy, healthy glow. So yeah, the Morphe 9B palette has been my go-to blush thing for 2015. And then we move on to what has slayed everyone's life this year, and that would be highlighters. Everyone has gone bonkers over highlighters and liquid lipsticks. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna mention my favorite highlighters. I do have three of them. Actually, I wonder, I, like, when I was trying to pick, okay, what highlighters have I been loving for 2015? I was like, oh, this one, this one, this one. And uh, literally, no joke, next thing I know, I had grabbed every single highlighter that I own. So I had like seven highlighters, I'm like, wait, Hold up, I'm not mentioning seven highlighters. It's, anyway, so um, I picked the three that I'm like, I cannot live without those highlighters. I mean, well, technically I can live. You know what I mean. So yeah, the first one I mentioned is by Becca Cosmetics, and no, no, it is not Champagne Pop. I love that highlighter to death, but it's something I don't really only wanna wear for those summer looks and everything. So I wanna pick highlighters that I would wanna wear year round. This is opal, of course, and this is more of like a beigey, beigey highlight. Can you see that? Yeah, right there. It just gives the most beautiful glow, and they're so buttery, so creamy, creamy, <laughs> so buttery, so creamy. So yeah, Becca Opal has been my favorite highlight of 2015. Two others. This is Nars Albatross. Um, I have a kind of peachy, or I have a yellowy undertone for my skin, so I feel like this highlight really complements me. It looks white, but it's actually more like a golden highlight. A yellow golden highlight, as you can see right there. It just really complements my skin. I put it on the top of my cheekbones. A lot of times, I will combine these two together. I actually always use two highlighters. What am I talking about? Anyway, so NARS Albatross has been another favorite of mine. And then... 
I found a drugstore highlight that I'm just so obsessed with. This is the Physician's Formula Warm Nude Shimmer Brick Shimmer Strips. I don't know. The reason I love this highlight so much is because you can basically get any highlight shade you want. If you want a bronzy highlight, you focus here. If you want a more neutral pinky highlight, you here. If you want a champagne highlight, you focus here. You can literally get any highlight shade that you want. Or you can swirl them all together and just get a really unique highlight. And they're just so pigmented and so pretty. Let me show you right now. Um, where is my highlighter brush? So we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush. Anyway, so I'm just gonna show you how, like, how pretty this highlight is. So I'm gonna focus it right here, right here, and it's just, see that just amazing highlight it gives you? It's just so pretty. Like, that is popping. That highlight is popping. Love it so much. I love it in my nose. Yeah, so now that I'm all highlighted up. Yeah, so this has been another 2015 highlight favorite. Next, moving on to lips. Um, I'm not going to mention lip liners because I do use lip liners, but I'm not a lip liner junkie. Um, I do have two that I use a lot, but they're just a NYX one. So I'll just say all the NYX lip liners have been like a go-to for 2015. They're very affordable and they're very good. They aren't super, they don't break like, the uh, Revlon Colorstay lip liners, they tear my lips to pieces just because they're so hard. The NYX lip liners, they're not too creamy, they're not too hard. I love the, the NYX lip liner. Sorry, my nose just itches like mad. Anyways, but... Like I said, liquid lipsticks have just been taking over the beauty community. So I just picked my three favorites that I wear the most. And this one, it's a liquid lipstick, technically, but it's more a matte lip cream. It doesn't give you the, the butt lips, you know, that everyone gets with these liquid lipsticks. And it's not as drying, but this one is the ultimate lip cream in the shade Tender, which is just like a brownish nude right there. Yeah, this is just a brownish nude. This is a really good everyday color. And then this one right here, because I've really been into the brown lips, this is a Limbo by ColourPop, which is one of their ultra matte liquid lipsticks. And then the other one that I've worn a lot is Kapow, which is just like a muted out, mauve grayish, purple, I don't know, it's really pretty. Right there, oh, so gorgeous. Anyway, those are like the three lip those are the three liquid lipsticks that I've just been so obsessed with. But I do have a couple actual lipsticks that I've been loving all year. This is Truffle Teas, and this is by the Maybelline Nudes line. I've gotten a lot of use out of that one. It's like a brownish nude. I'm really more into the brown nudes instead of the pinky nudes. I do like my pinky nudes, but I prefer my browns. So I've been loving that one. And then Gerard Cosmetics in 1995, which was originally created by Jaclyn Hill, but I know that she, re she removed her name for Gerard Cosmetics, and now it's just their shade. But this is just that Kylie Jenner brownish, mauve you know, that, that lip color that everyone just sought after in all of 2015. I feel like this one just nailed the color. So yeah, that's been a favorite of mine also. Okay, and last but not least is setting sprays. I have two sprays that I love. Um, last year I talked about the Urban Decay spray, but honestly, I, I don't like that one anymore because I found something better. I found a spray that made me not like that one, and that is the Scandinavia Setting Spray. This makes your makeup bulletproof, and I'm serious. Like, I'm not just saying that. I ha I can vouch for it because I went to, I went grocery shopping one day, and it was so bright and so sunny. I had used this to set my face because I was like, I don't want to start sweating and all my makeup coming off. Anyway, so I go grocery shopping and I come out and all of a sudden it's literally dumping buckets of water. Like the raindrops, I swear they were that big. And it was just pouring, 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 pouring. And I had to go all the way to my car because I'm one of those people, I like to park in the back because I like to walk as far as I can to get exercise and everything. I'm, I, I hate parking close to buildings. Um, so I had to walk all this way and I had a full face of makeup and I had sprayed this and I'm like, it's pouring rain and I don't know what, like, I don't know if my makeup's going to stay or anything because it was just dumping. But anyway, so I got to my car and, um, oh my God, I had loaded all the groceries, so I was outside for a hot minute and I got in the car, my makeup looked like I just put it on. It was perfect. There was no 
water splotches, nothing. It was literally perfect. And so ever since then, ever since then, I've been just, I've sworn by Scandinavia. Well, this, I will never go to another setting spray. The last spray, this is a very universal spray. I use it for everything. Look, I literally have this much left. I need to go get another one. So this is the Matte Fix Plus. I use this to prep my skin because I hydrate to skin. I use it to set my skin. I usually use two sprays. One to get a little bit more of a dewy look and then this to fully set it. And I also use this to increase the pigmentation of my eyeshadow, which you guys have seen in plenty of videos. When you want an eyeshadow to look more foiled, go ahead, spray some MAC Fix Plus on a synthetic brush and then apply your eyeshadow and you're good to go. Um, yeah, so I use this even when I'm not wearing makeup. I'll just spray my face if I just want to feel a little bit more refreshed. I'm, I'm actually thinking about getting one of those travel size ones to keep in my purse just to spray my face when I'm out and about just because I love how it makes my skin feel. So yeah, MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so that completes my 2015 beauty favorites. I know it was a ton of stuff. When you talk about things you've been loving the entire year, it does incorporate a lot. So I hope you guys made it through the whole video. If you made it through the whole video, make sure to let me know down below because it's super exciting to me because I know this is going to be a super long video. So yeah, um, let me know what you've been loving for the year of 2015 and maybe it'll become my 2016 beauty favorite. So let me know down below things I should try out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you get, did, give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.